Hello there. Today we're going to cover how to set up Windows Auto Patch, which is a new progression on the Windows Update for Business service that delivers a fully automated approach that allows Microsoft to manage your patches and shifts it away from your IT team. So first we're going to go in and enable it by going into Tenant Administration and Tenant Enrollment. This is actually relatively easy. This little disclaimer here, we hit agree. And you'll see here, it's going through things, doing some readiness checking, and we have some stuff that said it's not ready, ready and advisory. Not ready licenses, let's check this out. Okay, we're back here, and now that we got the Windows uh, 10 and 11 E3 license, our checks are all set and ready to go. So you can see here, it shows you there's a little co-management advisory. Not a big deal. But now that we have our, our whole piece ready, we can actually start the enrollment process. So we'll click Enroll. Okay, we give Microsoft permission. We're just gonna put some stuff in here. See, so we're just putting some your basic stuff in here. This is for the admin. We're gonna hit next. Then here we have our secondary admin. complete and now at this point just setting up auto patch okay now here we just click continue it's going to talk about the whole setting up and registering devices and here the now the auto patch group service is going to do it do its thing and we're just going to get us a little bit and we'll be back once it's ready so while we're waiting on the auto patch groups to get set up, we're going to go create our Intune device dynamic group that we'll be using to auto enroll people into auto patch. So we're going to open a groups tab here. And so we're just going to create a group. We'll call this Intune managed windows devices. We're going to do dynamic device. We're going to add our dynamic query. And this is a query here that you'll find in the blog article. We'll just straight out here. And this says, you know, if it's a Windows device and it's managed by Intune and it's not a cloud PC, because I just prefer to keep those separate. And then we're going to save that. And, we'll, and we're just going to give it a couple more minutes so we can get those auto groups all those auto patch groups all set up. So we're back and just a few minutes later you can see here instead of devices the Windows auto patch is all set up. And obviously your devices section is empty. So like we were talking about earlier, let's go entitle the uh, the auto patch device registration group. So it's really easy. They give you a little thing you click on here. And it takes you into this group that was created during the uh, the onboarding of auto patch which is what all that time took as it was setting up groups and setups and things like that so I'm gonna go into members I'm gonna hit add members and we're gonna add this Intune managed devices group so that's added and so what you'll end up seeing here which we'll, we'll cover later is as you discover the, as you go in and you do a discovery on your devices, new devices will come in and, and they will automatically register, which is something we'll talk more about soon. 